Hello everyone, I'm Ankur Chaturvedi and today I'll show you how to file an RTI online. First of all, we go to the website rtionline.gov.in. Now here you would see that you have an option of registering. Now if you intend to file multiple RTIs, I would suggest that you register here. Otherwise you could straight away go to submit request if it's a one of five RTI. So this is where you click now these are the guidelines for the use of the online RTI portal. I would suggest that you go through this. It might be prudent for you if you're doing it for the first time. Oops. Anyway. And then you click here and you go to the next step. Now this is where you will select the ministry or department or apex body where you're filing the RTI on. This is basically the department who will provide you the information. So you need to be very clear which department you are filing the RTI on. If you file an RTI on the wrong department, the chances are you will not get a response and it will straight away be turned down. In my case, I am filing it on the Department of Defense. Then the Public Authority, it is again from a drop down menu. The confirmation. Now here I enter my name. I click mail here. I enter my address. PIN code state status whether I belong to a city or a village of course a city here whether I am educated or illiterate well illiterate and I also give my qualification here this is where I give my residence number and this is where I give my mobile number please make sure that you do give your mobile number because this is where you will get all your alerts and also your mail ID. Now citizenship it has to be Indian. Are you below the port poverty line? If you are then you don't need to pay the fees but in my case I am not so I will need to pay the fees and this is where you type out the RTI. Once you have typed out the query, I would seriously recommend that you add that you are attaching a copy of your passport, voter ID or any proof of citizenship uh, here because at times the authorities just deny giving you information on grounds that you need to be a citizen of India to file an RTI. Now, this makes the process a bit easier for you. So you just attach your proof of citizenship here itself and then you proceed to make a payment. You can make the payment through internet banking or credit or debit cards. I choose to pay by a credit card. Proceed to the pay button. Here you in enter your card information. Once I have entered all the information, I go to pay. As for a OTP. Here comes my OTP. And I submit it. This is taking some time. Yeah. 
this is my RTI file successfully. Now you will see this is my registration number. This I can quote for any future reference. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please feel free to contact me in case you need any help in filing RTIs online. My contact details are my mobile number is 9830952306 and my mail id is mansi.ankur at gmail.com this of course is a small m thank you